just reading and it got really dark all of a sudden. Oh, I just felt like capturing a moment. <laughs> like the sounds of the hourglass. So are the days of our lives. Can you hear that rain? Hmm. I shared this with a friend this morning. It's Proverbs 4. I think I'm going to read it out loud. Let me get the light. Listen, my sons, to a father's instruction. Pay attention and gain understanding. I give you sound learning so you do not forsake my teaching. For I too was a son to my father, still tender and cherished by my mother. Then he taught me and he said to me, take hold of my words with all your heart. Keep my commands and you will live. Get wisdom, get understanding. Do not forget my words or turn away from them. Do not forsake wisdom and she will protect you. Love her and she will watch over you. The beginning of wisdom is this, get wisdom. Though it cost all you have, get understanding. Cherish her and she will exalt you. Embrace her and she will honor you. She will give you a garland to grace your head and present you with a glorious crown. One of the greatest responsibilities of parents is to encourage their children to become wise. Here, Solomon tells how his father, David, encouraged him to seek wisdom when he was young. If you want wisdom, you must decide to go after it. This will take resolve, a determination not to abandon the search once you begin, no matter how difficult the road may become. This is not a once in a lifetime step, but a daily process of choosing between two paths the wicked and the righteous. Nothing else is more important or more valuable. We should all make God's wisdom our first choice. We don't have to wait for God to appear to us. We can boldly ask him for wisdom today through prayer. Let's read on the next uh, passage, verse 10. Listen, my son, accept what I say, and the years of your life will be many. I instruct you in the way of wisdom and lead you along straight paths. When you walk, your steps will not be hampered. When you run, you will not stumble. Hold on to instruction. Do not let it go. Guard it well, for it is your life. Do not set foot on the path of the wicked or walk in the way of evildoers. Avoid it. Do not travel on it. Turn from it and go on your way. For they cannot rest until they do evil. They are robbed of sleep till they make someone stumble. They eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. Even friends can make you fall. It's difficult for people to accept the fact that friends and acquaintances might be luring them to do wrong. Young people who want to be accepted would never want to confront or criticize a friend for wrong plans or actions. Many other people can't even see how their friend's actions could lead to trouble. While we should be accepting of others, we need a healthy skepticism about human behavior. When you feel yourself being heavily influenced, proceed with caution. Don't let your friends cause you to fall into sin. Let's pick up where we left off with verse 18. The path of righteous is like the morning sun, shining ever brighter till the full light of day. But the way of the wicked is like deep darkness. They do not know what makes them stumble. My son, pay attention to what I say. Turn your ear to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. Above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. Keep your mouth free of perversity. Keep corrupt talk far from your lips. Let your eyes look straight ahead. 
Fix your gaze directly before you. Give careful thought to the paths for your feet and be steadfast in all your ways. Do not turn to the right or left. Keep your foot from evil. Our hearts, our feelings of love and desire, dictates to a great extent how we live because we always find time to do what we enjoy. Solomon tells us to guard our heart above all else, making sure we concentrate on those desires that will keep us on the right path. Make sure your affections push you in the right direction. Put boundaries on your desires. Don't go after everything you see. Look straight ahead. Keep your eyes fixed on your goal and don't get sidetracked on detours that lead to sin. Well, for whatever reason, I've been led to share this and I do hope that it brings encouragement and discernment and peace to those who have listened. Thank you.